Now, as you go through it, there's my username. I put in something really simple <laughs> and a password. I've used an uncrackable password. And then it asks you a few things because it's focused for sort of developers. It's asking about Git and stuff. So you can just basically tab through this and then it sets the account up. Now, what this does do, it you can't multi-boot it. You have to do it to one drive because it will wipe it. But what it does do is encrypts. So literally it does drive encryption the moment it goes on. So super safe. So the next thing that is going to like bang through all this, um, all the load up stuff. Uh, now, as I said, the sort of preamble at the beginning of this, it sort of threw me totally this. It really has. It's really exciting because I've seen a billion, oper I'm sure we all have, we've seen a billion operating systems and you know, you're, you're basically guided and overlaid by what the creators of the operating systems really want. They standardize like Mac is totally standardized and you can only, it's only a certain way. And then you move to windows. There are similarities between the two, you know, everything, certain many of things are in the same places and stuff like that. You can't control things. Now, what, David and his guys have given you his foundation, a building block and give you a great idea and like a head start into what you can do with this. And I'd never seen, I've never used um, a Windows based manager like this before where it, it locks everything off and, you know, you've got windows hiding between windows and all these kind of things. We'll look at it in a minute, um, but it, it's sort of, um, it's a very smart and intelligent way to work. Um, the whole thing looks gorgeous as well and it's built on art it's super quick um but yeah i mean you know it's just going to bang through the loading stuff up now but i, I mean and there's a sense of humor injected into this which is which is quite fun which is something that's missing